Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm just going to be showing you well, I'm just going to be showing you simple redstone because I know a lot of people who were uh, let's just say basically have no clue how to use redstone whatsoever so I just wanted to do some basic tutorials just showing you how to use redstone and some little things you can do with it so I think what I'm going to do to start off first of all is just basically show you really simple thing you can obviously use this for example just a very simple circuit you know you can put a lever on this block redstone behind it and it will obviously work and then just for instance i don't know uh uh let's see um if i can find a door that just for instance watch just for instance turn it off see just for instance um Right, so moving on to the next thing anyway, we got the button obviously, it only powers um, for a couple of seconds, but as you can see, same same concept, goes through the wall, you know, da -da 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 -da. now with this next one, I just wanted to show you something, for those who are wondering, have you ever seen this item who, well, let me say it again, have you ever seen this item you ever thought, I'm a redstone noob, I have no clue what this item does? Well, let's put it this way. The redstone can only stretch out so far before needing one of these being put in the repeater. Because obviously, watch this. If I get rid of the repeater there, the signal degrades. You know, it's not lighting up no more. So you need to put a repeater in to keep the, you know, the circuit going further. So what you want to do is obviously put your repeater in. And then it, you see how it's gone bright red again? Now you can have even more redstone. So it's just a basic idea for you to know. Now, I'm just going to get back to these ideas here. Now, have you ever wanted to build sort of like an automatic defense system in a sense? If you have, then a thing you could do is essentially link this up like this. Hit that. Bam. And that could start firing, you know, arrows left, right, and center at enemies. Let's just uh, turn it off quickly. There we go. Same with this one, but this one's a little different. You want to just... Yep, there you go. See, this is a clock. Then you can just, you know, have it. I don't know. For instance, uh, dispenser. Let's have it fire out a lot of blocks. See? Now, just because people are probably wondering. But it's pretty slow, that. I don't want it like that. Yeah, well, the one thing to note is you can change these tips on the repeater. This makes it longer, shorter. Yeah, um, but for this instance, I'm going to show you a better design, a better clock. This better clock works a little more better because, as you can see, all it simply is is four redstone torches on that one block underneath. This little thing built here, yeah, and then place that in the middle. Bam! See how quick it fires out? Epic. Let's turn this off. Um, also, guys, just want to point out, if you're going to be using, like, multiple, uh, didn't mean to do that. If you're going to be using multiple dispensers and stuff, you sort of have to do this. Otherwise, the redstone won't work because you can't have it like this, for instance, let me show you. You can't have it like this. You can't have it like that because it just won't work like that. Let me just prove it won't work by uh, doing... Half that in there, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, and just put that in there, just to show you. Doesn't work. Now, you can do this, however, I'm pretty sure. Nope, you can't even do it like that, never mind. See, I'm, even I'm not the best with redstone, but I just thought you guys deserve a little tutorial. But yeah, but what you have to do is basically do that anyway. Spread it out, you know, make sure that there's a um, repeat a gap, repeat a gap, you know, with the redstone. And it works perfect. So yeah. So that's just some basic stuff. Now I'm going to move on to the more better stuff that you might like. Now some of the stuff I will be showing you isn't my design. You know it's off YouTube. So I do apologize but I've just memorized this. This is not my design and I take no credit for it. But just for this instance of showing you guys how to build a door. If you want to just copy what I'm doing. Like that. 
Now I always get this part wrong because I end up putting a... So I'm going to put that there. Like that. No, I did that wrong again. I need to do one more part. There we go. So you want to do that, yeah? That's your basic frame. And you want to have two blocks like that, either side. And your redstone come underneath like that and over the top. Redstone over the top and redstone underneath. Then you want to destroy this block and basically dig a path to the other side. This will essentially connect both sides. So even if you stand on one side, both sides will open. So let's do that. Put the redstone in. Let's get rid of that. Put the redstone in. Like that. Now they're connected. Now what we can do is we can uh, do this. Oh, well, I missed them out. I'll show you that. Yeah, be before you do this middle part of the redstone, what you want to do is... Now, this part here is where the... That part there, what I just put these two... Well, sorry. These two stone blocks underneath, you need to make sure it has redstone. So, redstone, redstone. And you want to break these two. Put more redstone. Because I'll do the other side as well. So, just for this case, I'll just show you where the door is. That is going to be the door, okay? Just so you can tell. And, yep. And now, simply all we got to do is do this. Put these in. Fill them over. Uh, wait. Put this over the top just to make it look a little nicer so you get a nice feel for it. And there you go. Simple little redstone door. Opens and closes using the pressure plate. Now, like I said, this is not my design, but I am just showing you it, you know, so you can all see it and know it. Uh, there is a better way to build this, but I'd rather show you it this way for more people who are not very good with redstone as such, but yeah. But I'm just going to uncover this so you can see it one last time. Oh, sugar. Just so you can see it. There you go. So essentially all you got to do is have it like that, set up like that. And that's how you make a simple redstone door. Or another redstone door. It's very, very simple. As any other door would be. Like that, like that. Now, literally, this is just sort of repeating what I did over there. Just on a smaller scale for if you want a smaller door. Nothing big, you know. I don't know. Say, for instance, you just have it written over the top of a door frame or something stupid like that. P pretend this is going over a door or something. There we go. And I don't know, just for any apparent reason, we'll just put the lever there. Uh, what have I done wrong? Have I... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> My bad. I messed up. There we go. And there you go. Just simple little redstone door. You just close that up. You don't even need to see any of the redstone, really, as such. So. Yep, just close that up like that. You guys sort of get the gist of it anyway. You know, you can just cover up the redstone as, as seen here. And obviously you can just put a roof over that. Now that part, be careful, so you got to go one over. But yeah, anyway, you get the uh, gist of it. So yeah. So this is basically just very, very simple redstone. For those who have never used it before. Now, we'll... One last thing before I do go. Now, I'm going to show you something basic with hoppers as well. Because people are a little confused with hoppers. Now, say like, I don't know, uh, chickens. Yeah, let's do chickens. Uh, make a little pen quickly. Where's chicken egg? Chicken egg. Ah! Right, there we go. Make a little pen from quickly. And I don't know. Say, for instance, uh, yeah. So what you do is, facing the chest, you want to crouch, right click, and as you can see, it makes a little connection to the chest. I don't know if you can see that that well. It makes a little connection, yeah. And you want to do that again. And again, and again. 
Now, if you now this is for example, if you're doing it for a chicken farm, you want to probably do it everywhere. So you can just connect them to the sides, so everything will funnel into the middle ones like that. And put that back over the top, and then obviously you don't have to have that showing. That can be you know whatever. But yeah, this is just like I said for an example. You can have your chicken sat there. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm just going to drop some eggs onto the hoppers. Just so you can see. There you go. Sometimes they don't always funnel in. you got to be careful with that. But as you can see, I've dropped them in there. And they're now coming into the chest. That's how you basically use simple hoppers. And yeah. So guys, this has been a simple redstone tutorial. Now... It may not have been the best of tutorials. I may have missed some stuff out. But anyway, guys, if you uh, enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you want to see more redstone tutorials and more harder stuff or complicated stuff, just uh, comment down below and let me know. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.